So here's a short video on the refit and the freshwater flushing attachment which we have envisaged. This is just mainly set up as a proof of concept at the moment before we completely install everything. What we plan to have is a Yamaha, per, per engine, we'll have a Yamaha PWC freshwater flushing attachment which is effectively an expensive one-way valve but they do have the runs on the board, they don't seem to fail. These will be mounted under the combing, easy access uh, in the cockpit of the boat and uh, obviously much easier to access there and uh, simply plug in a garden hose with the Yamaha fitting. So if you can imagine this is mounted outside the boat at the moment and uh, plumbed through permanently. Then we go to the raw water pump. Now uh, there's a valve fitted there to uh, just make uh, certain that there was to be a failure anywhere on that side of the system that we can simply turn that valve off. Now what happens is the water pump impeller in there effectively acts as a, uh, as a blockage um, to the fresh water that's um, being pumped in from the engine side. Um, so it allows the water to just flow through, down through the fuel cooler, up, to the, up through the salt water after cooler, which is what we really want to be flushing, through the gear cooler and then over to the heat exchanger which is temporarily out of the boat just for ease of access while we're installing and then out through the shower mixer. So we've got water pressure set there at the moment and I'll turn this valve on here. This would normally be left open because we've got that nice one-way valve there. So this normally would be pressurised while the boat's running and the Yamaha one-way valve would be stopping any flow leaking out through there. But obviously if it was to fail, we could see it fairly easily because it's mounted in the cockpit. So we've got water pressure. I'll turn this valve on. You hear it start flowing through. It's not running back out through there at any, any significant amount. It's running through the fuel cooler up through the salt water after cooler, flushing it nicely, through the gear cooler, would be running through the heat exchanger unit, and then out and through the shower. Now obviously this re is um, required to have a, uh, a well designed exhaust system allowing for gravity so there's no chance of a backflow because obviously the engine isn't running, so gravity is a wonderful thing. Everything, the water will always run downhill, so you have to have your exhaust outlet properly designed so you have no chance of water backflowing into the turbo or even further, creating a real catastrophe.